Hello, welcome to day 4 video, Introduction to AutoCAD. Previously, we learned about AutoCAD interface, something about snapping tools and some basic drawing commands. Today, we will practice a bit. We will draw this picture here by using status bar tools that we previously learned. So, let's start a new drawing from a template. Let's take a line command. Type L and tooltip now prompting us to specify a first point. I will drag mouse in a horizontal direction using polar tracking and enter only length of this line. Then I will use vertical direction from polar tracking and again enter only a length of a line. Now I can do the same or I can hover over this line to see uh, object snap points, in this case end point of the first line and when I draw dragging mouse up in vertical direction in one point, these two green leaders will intersect. Just click there. Then I can use polar tracking again or object snap tracking to finish this polygon. By pressing enter, we finishing line command. Now let's draw object on our object one on another. I'll also use line command. So I would like to start from midpoint of this line. Of course it's easier to use object snap points by hovering over uh, object that we want to draw on than to use coordinates by user coordinate system. So there is a midpoint then we choose direction, enter distance, I think we already mastered that by now. Now we have new object snap point, it's perpendicular. Let's now remember circle command. And there is a midpoint that we will use for tracking point. And then enter distance from that middle point. And there we have center of our circle. Enter radius. There it is. Yes. We, so we saw that we can enter line command by typing L into command line. Also we can go to ribbon, to home, pan, uh, home tab, to drawing panel and choose command line from uh, drop down panel. Or we can simply uh, click enter on empty space and it will automatically repeat the last used uh, command. In this case it is line command. So I hovered over this object and then I'm dragging mouse using uh, polar tracking and then I want to enter distance from this snapping point and there I have specified my first point on this object, on uh, this distance from this object snapping point. Let's see one, mo one more tip. So from end point we enter distance and then let's say we don't want a 90 degree angle like all over here we want 
the line that will end somewhere on a horizontal line that intersect this center point here so we hover over this circle choose center point for a second and then uh, keep tracking green leader that shows up in a horizontal polar, polar dire direction and there we have point where these two lines intersect And now let's remember how user coordinate system helps us in drawings. Let's first place it on a screen wherever we like. Choose direction, actually orientation of this coordinate system. So now we have horizontal direction in this way and vertical this way. Let's draw something or with this orientation of our user coordinate system so there is midpoint say 5 15 and let's see intersection how that works once again there it is So now we can uh, draw again by using only 90 degree angles but because we turned around our user coordinate system they are not uh, 90 degree angles according to the rest of our drawing they are on 45 degree let's see how mirror command works me is for mirror let's now select objects to mirror and mirror ace see now I'm using horizontal polar tracking So these two uh, rectangles are placed on a vertical ace. Let's put user coordinate system back where it was in the beginning. Put back orientation, so everything is back on normal. Now let's trim some lines. So type TR trim. Now let's just select parts of lines that we want to erase. Trim command doesn't allow us to erase this line because it is not intersecting with anything. We will have to erase it by erase command delete so we select it and click on a delete now more we need is to round these angles that's a new option for us new command so let's go to ribbon to home tab to modify panel and right next to trim option it's fillet option when you choose a uh, fillet option we see here that we have uh, many different modes for it let's click on radius to round the corners and we need to specify a uh, fillet radius let's say it's 5 if we uh, input a smaller number uh, the corners will be less rounded and if we put bigger number numbers they will be more rounded so let's see what 5 does select one line when you hover over the second line you can see uh, that rounded corner how it's gonna look like let's see now if radius is bigger type fill
and then type R for radius and then let's say radius 7 one line and second line you see this angle is bigger than this one and let's round this corner with a smaller radius fillet radius let's say 3 so this corner is less rounded let's do a right click and find undo fillet on right click you always have undo option so it's undoing the last command you also can see there which command was last or you can go up on a quick access toolbar and click undo we will leave a uh, radius of fillet command 5 let's repeat fillet by right click reset tiput and fillet R to choose radius 5 and then we will select objects press enter to repeat command and there it is so in this video we were using object snap modes we were using a uh, user coordinate system and we used polar tracking we used fillet command trim command for from modify panel and we used line and circle command from draw panel that would be all for this video